Hey Finks, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Finks.com. Today from, from the city, I was just working uh, working uh, at a coffee Starbucks because uh, my Wi-Fi at home is, uh, uh, doesn't work anymore. Uh, so, um, yeah, I just want to quickly uh, talk about one topic that I actually uh, realized when I was walking here to, 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 to my car. I was just thinking... Uh, what is like a competitive advantage for freelancers that many people underestimate? And uh, or not only for freelancers, it actually works in every area of life. In like, but if you create a business online, a coding business or any other type of business, and this is one of the things that actually separates winners from losers. So always, like in any business, you want to uh, to become like one of the top five uh, percent. You you want to join the top the top say five percent of all people in your field. And for some people, it is very scary, and some people don't know how they can actually reach the top uh, couple of percentage point, right? Because why do you want to join them in the first place? Because they're like all the profits are in the top couple of percentage point, right? All, they get all the profits, and the remaining ninety five percent don't get them, right? And so, so what is the like? How can you join? How can you? So, what is a sure way to actually chop the join the top? say 5% of the coders. In, Up, for Up, in Upwork, for example, these are the uh, top-rated freelancers. Top-rated freelancers, they get all the gigs, they get all the recommendation, they get all the demand. And uh, so they also get like a lot of, uh, um, a lot of the value, right, from, for, for themselves. So how do you do it? And actually I realized it's like there's a simple way um, like a simple th theoretical way. It is simple but not easy, yeah? <laughs> uh, as, as the saying goes. So let's maybe, let's check it out. So I need to, I've prepared, actually prepared something here, this graph. So this is, this is a function uh, one divided by X. And I think the distribution of, um, uh, in the real world is like a sim, so we, in the real world we see a similar distribution. So we have a long tail distribution uh, on the, say on the X axis, we have the time, right? So say this could be months, for example, on the X axis. So we have five months, 10 months, 15 months, 20 months. On the x-axis and then on the y-axis we have the percentage of people still in the field right and if you want to join the top five percent in your field you need to be in the field long enough right you see uh, after say five months we have only 20 percent of the people are still there most other people after five months have started to actually pursue a different field right so if you work so say you work on in your given field in your niche for example on upwork or on upwork at all right <laughs> say say you stay in up on upwork only five uh, like you work on upwork every day on your upwork profile in order to, be, to become more successful and you work on, you you stay on it for five months right if you stay on it for five months work on your up, upwork business online on this on this same thing right you don't go to another uh, provider, you don't go, don't go to Fiverr, you don't create a, a blog, you don't create a YouTube channel, you don't do anything else, just working on your Upwork profile every day for five months. Now you belong already to the top 20% of people in the field, right? You see it on the chart, plain and clear. Maybe the chart is different, right? Maybe it is like uh, you belong now, now belong to the top 30% or top top 10% of the people in your field, but just staying in the game, you see it drops rapidly initially, right? But then uh, the slope kind of um, uh, evens out, right, of the, of the curve. So you have this long tail distribution. So if you stay in the game for 10 months, now you belong to the top 10% of the people. For 15 months, now you belong to the top, say, um, uh, eight percent uh, of the people, and don't don't get hang up on the numbers here. Of course, this is just it's just the the graph. It shows it shows the uh, some um, the it, it shows like an approximation of how people how long people stay in a given field. And then there are some people who, of course, stay very long time in the field. And those are the people, the people who stay. So say for at least two years or so, stay on a single in 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 a single field. Those become the most successful people. And this actually, this aligns very nicely with, with what I'm always um, uh, telling people. If you stay in, on one thing, so for example, you create a business, or maybe you want to do a PhD, or maybe you want to uh, finish an education at university. If you stay on one thing for four years, then you, will, then you have a good, good chance of... Um, uh, if you stay on something on four years, then you have a good chance of belonging to the top people in the field. And people don't believe me, right? But if you if you do, for example, in four years, you can completely reinvent yourself. And why is that? I think it's because 
of those because of the property of this graph, uh, of this long tail distribution I've just shown you, right? Because most people don't stay on one thing for four years. If you, if you are one of those people, and I will, I will just open it again to actually to, to burn it into your brain, right? Uh, if you stay on one thing for four years, then you have this, you are one of those people here in the end of the graph uh, who actually uh, uh, have done it, like uh, who have not left the field for a long period of time. So just by staying in the game, day in, day out, every day, every day for four years, uh, you, can, you, you will belong to the top 5% of the people in this field. Right, and by doing it, uh, you will get all the benefits yourself. Right, I mean this is just—it's a very, very simple strategy, but extremely underestimated by most people. By doing something every day for years, for example, creating your coding business online as an as an Upwork freelancer for years, every day, day in, day out, day in, day out, never stop. You will belong to the top five percent of the people in the game. You will learn, of course, you will learn. You will get experience, but you will also get trust. You have many of those curves, many of those um, benefits working for you, like network effects, I should say, uh, working for you. For example, you will have some clients who actually hire you again and again and again. You will have recommendation engine going. You will have, you will improve your profile description. You will get like other freelance or other clients will tell you this and that part of your profile I didn't like, so you switch it off. You will get, you will learn how to communicate with your target group automatically but just by communicating with them via via messaging for example you will learn how to speak to them and you will can incorporate this learning into your profile and other uh, little things right you will finish your gigs much faster and uh, you will you will learn how much you can charge and what are the pain points of your clients and all those little learnings they will accu accumulate and will make you more successful and that's why just by staying in the game and then doing the normal thing, right? Doing like trying to become better every day, uh, you will uh, quickly rise to the top and belong to the top five percent of the people. And most people don't do it. Most most people actually switch all the time. So uh, this is in this curve. So if you have this uh, one divided by x chart, you see like most people they switch after say three four months. So they are because like after a couple of months you have maybe only only ten percent of the. <laughs> of the of the of the of the people left because and ninety percent of the people have left they now try to pursue something else and then they leave this something else they leave it after a couple of months too and so they all their life they just switch and switch and switch but never reach success because they always switch they never focus on one thing exclusively for years on end okay so I think I think that's enough I hope I, I brought this uh, thought across thanks for watching this video if you like the video give me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video bye